Hello students from Math uh, 217. Um, today we'll introduce a method of taking a paper and pencil exam in Lockdown Browser while proctored by the Lockdown Monitor, which is how we're gonna take an exam uh, this semester. So now what we need to do is first, um, of course, we need to have a laptop or some computer with a webcam. And, uh, and then we have a checklist uh, of apps we need to have first. Uh, of course, um, we need to install the Lockdown Browser. And, uh, uh, and then we need the Box app installed. And meanwhile, uh, we need to have um, the Box app installed uh, on our cell phone or on any device that we use to scan uh, our exam. And of course, next is we need to have uh, a mobile device, whether it's your iPad or your cell phone, that can scan uh, your work. And lastly, we need to be in the room that's just uh, uh, by yourself. Uh, no other, no other human-like objects. Um, so it, if there is something, uh, the responders monitor will flag it and uh, I will review it. All right, let's begin. First, we start the lockdown browser. So more than one e-learning system is used at your institution. Uh, we choose Canvas, uh, hit OK. Uh, we close Skype, we close Skype. And then we log in our uh, Canvas. So we do our two-factor authorization. Um, so here, um, I will demonstrate using my sandbox class instead of uh, our uh, real class right here. And uh, let me switch to student view, which is the interface you guys will see. Um, then we click assignment. Normally, okay, right here. So normally the upcoming assignment will show will be showed on top. So we click it. Um, no, you normally you won't see uh, take the quiz again because uh, um, there will only be one attempt for each exam, but here for demonstrating purposes, I set the allowed attempt to be 50, but uh, uh, normally it should be just one. So let's take the quiz again. Okay, so right now, uh, the responders monitor uh, will be have some sort of, uh, you know, prepare to take the exam. So we hit agree, webcam check, uh, did you see image in the window? Yes. Uh, adjust the camera so that uh, uh, your image appears properly in the window while speaking your normal voice. Say alphabet count or count to 10. Click record five second video. So this video will be discarded after the webcam check. So record five second video. So we allow access. Hello, hello. One, two, three. Allow access. Hello, hello. One, two, three. So uh, it's working. Um, so we continue. And additional instruction during the exams, you should not access to other resources, etc. Continue.
And now this pro this process approximately takes about uh, five minutes. So uh, let's begin. Okay, so this is uh, um, our exam, and uh, uh, in the in the real exam, uh, you should see actually more instructions um, than this is like a, a test exam. So, for example, you have this print option. You can select whichever print if you want to print it out. If your computer is connected to a printer. And this is a calculator, this is a scientific calculator. It can help you calculate, for example, log, exponential, and etc. So it's on the menu. And for example, this you can insert symbol if you like to. But uh, in reality, it's uh, we have to choose a file. Okay, so right now, uh, if we choose a file, we can choose uh, whatever we have. But uh, um, First, we have to try the exam, right? Okay. So, for example, when we see the exam on the first page, it will see in the actual scan you submit on Canvas, please put the name and ID approximately on the top quarter of the first sheet of the exam. For example, this is the first paper I would like to use to work on my exam. Then, my name approximately we put above this line. So for example, um, so um, I think I, I made a virtual student called Ada uh, Loveless. Okay. So let's just uh, put Ada Loveless here. And the ID, student ID is 20, 20, Zero one two four. If the name is being put correctly in the correct space, corresponding to the name and ID there, it will be automatically recognized by a grade scope later. Let's just pretend uh, these are my works. And uh, right now I'm gonna use my cell phone to scan it. Um, here I'm using an app called Genius Scan, which is recommended by um, the Great Scope. And uh, uh, this is what this app looks like. Um, so now I'm gonna hit the scan button. And after scan, we just hit this uh, check mark button right here. Okay. So then we're gonna hit uh, uh, the sync button right here. So we can see uh, lots of options. For example, we have Box, we have Dropbox, uh, Google Drive, so we'll choose Box right here. And then it prompts to select a folder, let's just select the root folder and uh, um, the scan is synced. Um, and then what happens is, if our computer has um, box app installed, we should be able to choose a file. So, for example, uh, we should have our box right here, and 
Okay, so as we can see, if we click date modified, uh, this is our newest scan, which is right now. So it's already synced to the computer, so I can click it. And then it will say your file has been successfully uploaded. Um, now let's zoom in to our computer screen a little bit more. So um, after we have uploaded um, our solution, um, you can re-upload it uh, by canceling it and re-upload it. So for example, something like this. If you if you find anything wrong in your paper and you want to re-scan it, you can do it by doing so. And then we submit the quiz. So normally um, you won't see this takes quiz again menu. And uh, so that concludes and uh, you will be asked to exit the lockdown browser. So that's it.